Yes, let's send it over to Comsec for the uh, first, the start of a new week on the markets. Are you getting a new background, Tom? Is that a new background that you've zhuzhed up for me? Well, Pete, uh, your powers of observation yeah. are acute, yes. Yeah. Uh, well, new colour palette. It's a variation. Uh, it's a variation. We've had some technical difficulties this morning and this is uh, one of our fallback oh. options. Okay, I like it. Full it's, disclosure. It's, it feels soothing. Um, Tom, how are we looking today? Well, equally soothing, Pete, is a positive open for the share market. So it's only going to be up by around four tenths of a percent, but that's still uh, something to build on. And we saw a pretty contained performance where US markets in particular were concerned on Friday. We only saw the slightest of improvements there. The S&P 500 and the Nasdaq each up by around 0.1 of a percent and the Dow was largely flat. But more uh, encouraging was the weekly performance where we had uh, the Dow and the S&P 500 up by about 2% and the Nasdaq up 2.4%. So that positive momentum continues for stock markets generally. Uh, in the case of our own market, we um, have had a, a slightly more patchy performance over the course of the last couple of weeks. But the uh, thing that has been helping is that long and short term interest rates have been tending to move lower, Pete. And that was the case where uh, Wall Street was concerned last week. There were a few things of note uh, in terms of earnings gap. You're probably familiar with this organisation. You probably have a few items of clothing from the uh, 90s from this organisation. Mm. They've been uh, having a bit of a tough time recently, uh, but they delivered uh, better than expected earnings on Friday, and the stock was up by a breathtaking 30%. Uh, just gives you a Oof. sense of um, how the market is viewing the retail space. Uh, expectations are quite low and when they're bettered, you see quite a bit of a readjustment in terms of expectations. Uh, we also saw applied materials. So these, this is an organisation that makes chips and the du US Department of Justice is having a closer look at this group uh, because they may have breached sales to China. So anyway, um, the Aussie dollar doing a little better, just above 65 US cents. Okay, Tom, thank you.